Hi folks, the title of this uh, talk is how to attract high quality clients to your industrial company and keep them engaged till they purchase. Now, if this was true for your company, wouldn't it be exciting to have attract those high quality clients and keep them engaged till they purchase because you're top of mind, especially when you're serv uh, in a, uh, of servicing the processing and uh, mining industries as an um, industrial supplier. You are really looking for those high quality clients and you want to engage and be top of mind for the solutions that you provide. Now, to make this presentation uh, or the title of the presentation valid for you, there are three big secrets you will learn in this presentation that you are actually looking for a needle in a haystack. And you think about it, when you're servicing uh, uh, an industry, a niche industry like you are, you are really looking for that needle in a haystack. And there are ways to extract that needle out of the haystack uh, for you in the modern era. And I will get more to that in the presentation. But once you've found that needle, they do not initially purchase from you the first time. Because remember, we've got tend to have long sales cycles. But that's the time that you want to build authority, engage the prospect, so that you're top of mind and that you become to the position of trusted advisor. And if you get that right, niche markets have wonderful properties that make it very lucrative for a, a company such as yourselves that service these industries. Now, to just to give you a little bit of my uh, uh, backstory, who I am. My name is Ian and I'm a process engineer of many years experience. Um, I've been all aspects of the industry. I've been on the engineering company side. I've been in the process equipment side and I've been on the plant side, uh, running plants and, and things like that. So I've got a quite broad experience of the industry and all aspects of it. And I have two beautiful daughters. Now, the, 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 the story about how I came to this and how I want to help you find those needles in a haystack, engage with them until they're ready to purchase from you is... I remember in the just the 2000s in the dot, uh, just before the dot com bubble on the radio, a guy saying, you know, the future of retail is eyeball traffic and not foot traffic. And the thought just the seed was planted. Then in about mid 2000s, I got a job at a company supplying uh, to the uh, mining and processing industry uh, equipment. And then I came to realize how important it is to find these needles in a haystack and engage with them till they purchase uh, from you. So that is also where my awakening started. And it is exciting because if you find that needle in a haystack, you can solve a solution to a guy or gal that really needs your solution. And it's a wonderful place to be. It's quite satisfying uh, as well. And um, so what happened is that one day, my boss uh, gave me a challenge, said, you know what, Ian, we must get in front of the engineers at the engineering houses. And I thought to myself, now, how do you expect me to do that? Because at that time I was trying to deal with them. And it's very difficult. You know, you arrive at the engineering house at the reception there and the engineers are not there or oh, God, they forgot they're suddenly busy. So they don't want to talk to you, got missed um, uh, meetings and they don't really want to talk to you because they're busy. And, you know, what are you going to tell them? So then it dawned upon me that whole story about the eyeballs and I thought, you know what, if I could create a software to help them in their job, um, I could actually use that also to drive engagement with my, my company. So what I did is I developed a software that helped them uh, um, size equipment to select equipment themselves, a little bit of a self-service, but also developed a method that they could engage with us directly. And uh, it, it started, the development started going well, but then suddenly disaster struck and there were so many concerns from inside my company about what if the guys use the thing right, we get the wrong uh, application specified, uh, what if the software, um, you know, uh, is, is um, our IP and things like that. But you know what, I'm so glad. I actually heard them and I addressed their concerns and this resulted in me making a number of discoveries is that you, the, we, we actually developed it in such a way, the system, that it was layered, that you had uh, interested parties that you helped, you had um, parties that were really aware of your solution, really wanted you. And so we almost created a little bit of exclusivity in the way we uh, set up the system. And, uh, but it helped in, with engagement. And the other thing we did is discovered is that um, you could use, if you had the system set up right, you could guide the prospect to a solution that your company is more ideally geared 
to provide a solution and that it results in benefits for the clients as well as yourself i.e you're more competent at that and uh, of course then the risk is low so the client scores but also you might actually have a better let's say spares inventory holding of certain uh, product lines and, and that's why you want the, 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 the prospect to rather use a certain solution for their problem so you know it's, it's especially in early stage of the project and development of a solution things are fluid so if you can match better it is very beneficial anyway we launched the, pro, uh, the, 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 the system and some of it was a free software and we tried to launch it worldwide and we did get it right. Um, and that was exciting. But you know what was the most exciting is that about a month later, suddenly out of the blue, I get an email from somebody out of Peru and I'm in South Africa inquiring about um, our products. And it was wonderful because then I realized this has worked. This is what I wanted. A 24-7 sales machine that is worldwide trying to get these needles in a haystack. And this set me on a journey in how can we develop this further? Now, I developed the IAM system, which is I'm going to share some of the components with you. And it really is the first things I'm going to share is the secret one and some strategies, by no means exhaustive. There are many other strategies of how to find a needle in a haystack that you're looking for. So is that, remember those uh, people that you find, those needles in a haystack, they are small hinges swing big doors for you. It really does apply for you then. Okay, so just to show you some of the strategies. Now, if thinking about a prospect uh, of, of yours is that that's looking for a solution you can provide, I'm gonna give an example, you have cone crashes. Now, um, Google and Facebook and these things gather a lot of information. And I was able to more or less ascertain that, you, you know, in the art industry, you're looking for about a one in a hundred thousand type of person. But because Google and Facebook have data and allow you, uh, Google, Facebook and LinkedIn, you can be very targeted in finding that person. There are strategies of doing it. Now, I want to show you one of them. Yeah. Now, let's say the guy uh, or girl is looking for a cone crasher. You can see here are three ads appear at the top. Now, you know that the benefit of being on page one is great as because that there's less likely the person is going to click on page 10's uh, thing when they're searching for it. Anyway, the point is that you, there are ways of getting yourself to the top. And you can see here that you the cost per click uh, is $2.62 if a person clicks on that. And the search volume for the term cone crusher was 880. That That is uh, in the United States. The other thing is that you could do is this... Uh, Google even allows you to set this up regionally. I, by that I mean is that you can set it up in such a way that the ads only appear in, let's say, Africa or wherever you are because that is where you are and it's servicing your clients in that area of the world is easier. So that is an example uh, of, of, of how you could do it. And now another thing is, let's say you don't like uh, the term cone crusher because of the volume and the price and you, but then what you could do is what the, you can make, make what they call long tail keywords. So you actually increase the length of this keyword. And let's say you go for the term use cone crusher. Suddenly the, ter the search volume drops quite significantly to 20 in $1.60. But the benefit of this is that if you are supplying in that particular niche, remember you are now highly, highly targeted finding that exact person that you are looking for. So that is the one thing that you can do. Another one that is uh, quite uh, beneficial. Oh, sorry, that, that I want to show is uh, another thing that's important is that, and you can see that the, the leaderboard here changes from uh, um, uh, cone crusher to used cone crusher. So it, it can change. The other thing is that also can be is that once a person clicks on your ad, uh, I see many mistakes are made. Now, here is an example of what, actually I would suggest not to do, is that a, a person comes to a landing page and yeah, it's these cone crushes, but look here, all these buttons. So now, what is the guy going to do when he arrives here? Yes, you've got information, but you know what, for him to look for you and he wants to, oh, there's the contact us button. You know, it, it, it becomes a bit difficult. What I propose and what is standard practice that's better is to actually create what they call a landing page. Now, a landing page is different from a normal website page in the sense of that there's not that many options for a guy or gal to do when they uh, uh, appear. And they can only do one thing, click on the button, free consultation. But you'll see here on this mock-up that I've made that you've only got this button, but it all takes you to the same place. And then you can set it up such a way that the guy goes uh, to a page here where he can actually book a call 
with your sales representative. Now, people have become used to um, Zoom and Ling, uh, 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 Zoom and, and uh, um, uh, Teams meetings. So you can have a very good sales call even on the other side of the world, and you can have it in matching calendars. So that is the beauty of having uh, this system. This is just an example of how you can set it up. Another way of finding your needle in a stack is also using Google AdRoll. And what you do is you could put in ads that appear in uh, on, on um, certain uh, pop-ups, well, not pop-ups, ads or banner ads. You can see here that appear on other sites. And here you can see this is the site where one is looking up for the gold price of the day. And the way these, why these ads pop up is because of their certain terminology and things that you give to Google to say, when the person arrives here and he's done X, Y, Z, uh, he's highly likely to be the type of person I'm looking for. Please show him my ad. So that's the one uh, thing that you can do. And that's what this uh, strategy is all about. Now, as I said, once you've engaged uh, or found your needle in a haystack, it becomes quite important to, um, uh, you know, build rapport with the, 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 uh, the prospect, um, get him to believe that you're the authority and get yourself into the position of trusted advisor. So what I'm trying to say is that your expertise is really worth gold. And I'll show you some strategies you can use uh, to make it even more valuable and attract your clients and keep them engaged with your company until they're ready to purchase from you. Now, one of the strategies you can follow is that, let's say you can create an, a product, an, a free product that is attractive to the client. And here's an example of where um, I made a guideline of 78 guidelines to help you design a mineral processing plant. Now, if you put this ad in, uh, in the right way in front of an audience where you believe these people will be aggregated, i.e. in a mining magazine for argument's sake, then what you could do is only the people that are really interested in mineral processing plant design will put up their hand. They will give you their details, which you can capture. And then you can capture it in a thing like a CRM system that allows you, because you've got the email, that you can actually start sending them emails out. Now, the benefit of this, let's say you have just had a successful project of, your, uh, of, of one of your products installed. You know, you can then send an email out with some photos showing these interested people that you are, uh, that you've been successful there. Now, this is building credibility the whole time in the uh, mind of your prospect. And, um, you know, they, uh, another thing that I see the guys um, uh, do is that they also do um, online webinars to create credibility. And, you know, the benefit of an online webinar is that often people are concerned about the number of people attending and you should never really even be concerned about it. It's the fact that you're doing it. Because you're doing it, you are putting it out there that you are the trusted advisor. And these webinars are, shouldn't be salesy, they are educational. And so you are getting yourself into the place of trusted advisor. And now what you could also do is that you can run a couple of these same webinars because, you know, people's calendars differ. So you, you can run it a few times uh, to, to, to actually be able to meet a few people's calendars. But also the benefit of it is it's out there showing that you have authority. Then you, what you could do is that you can take the best one and you could actually... Uh, record it and make that available as a lead mag because often at the end of these webinars you have a Q&A session where the guys ask questions and these are a lot of the issues you can address there and you can be really get yourself into the position of the trusted advisor. Now another thing that uh, can be done with these CRM systems is and I just want to illustrate that here is that they allow you to create a sales pipeline. Now, the benefit of that is because we've got long sales cycles in our industry, you, um, what you could do is you could, let's say you've got all your email list here and one of the people puts up their hands and says, you know what, I want to have a meeting with you to discuss my problem. So you literally take his card from here to here and you have your sales guy, when he's on a call with him, open the card up and fill in the details of what is discussed. And, you know, just uh, in, a, in a summary, and then what happens is, let's say the guy says at the end of the call, you know what, I'm not ready and our company's not now ready with this project, but probably in three months time we will be. Then what you do is you take his card from there and you put it in here. 
And what happens is that you can set it up in such a way that a reminder is sent to your sales guy in two months time to contact the guy. And you know, isn't that a wonderful place to be at top of mind? Now think of this, wouldn't some of you, just if you could implement some of these systems, don't you think it would be wonderful for you to find those needles in a haystack, keep them engaged till they're ready to purchase? Wouldn't that change your company significantly? Having a full sales pipeline, being more confident, I think it would change, should change your life significantly. Now, another thing is that um, if you are top of mind and the customer is ready to purchase, you are in uh, the, an ideal position because you're top of mind and these benefits of uh, servicing a niche market accrue to you. There's minimal competition for you because you're top of mind, the guy's got a unique problem, you've got a unique solution, you can meet each other, minimal competition for you. It is professionally satisfying and personally because you're solving a real world need and needless to say, because of that, the uh, uh, benefit of high profit potential exists for you there. Now. If you are uh, at below this video, you'll see there's a button to book a strategy call. Now, you know, if only some of these things could work for you, don't you think it would change your life significantly, improve your company significantly, make you more comfortable because you know you've got a full sales pipeline of prospects and you know where they are and how many there are and their issues. So this is a system I've developed and we can discuss it and you know if you book a strategy call with me I will share some free ways for you to increase brand awareness that won't cost you anything so that's another that's another reason for you to just book a strategy call with me and we can discuss and how can we can gear this for you and you know this whole system entails so many things like funnel building writing of ads which got a bit of psychology campaign management coaching of the sales team um, in terms of the uh, what I showed you there in terms of the CRM system uh, social media marketing email marketing how we send the email boss how we uh, structure the emails and content marketing so if you are interested in taking your business to the next level please book a strategy call for me what have you got to lose you might gain some valuable insights at the very least that you can implement in your company and get yourself uh, at a new level. Thank you.